1922 mini vlog reading a lot of my poems in honor of my mom. Mother's Day, a poem I wrote back in 12 11 2012 in memory of you on your Memorial Day. Mother's Day by Win Win. Today is the day I think about you most. It is Mother's Day. I wish to make a toast to all those times when the memories remain. Flashbacks rushing by me never could restrain. Those falling tears, I remember the years when you still held me in your arms. Your warm, gentle touch, your motherly love, tendering me like a peace-giving dove. Your last words and strength before leaving this world makes me very proud to be your little girl. Praying for you each and every day, feeling your presence, hoping you would stay. Looking back on writings, those songs and poems I dedicated to you, Looking back at pictures, all my videos and singing too. Days I feel sorry, days I feel blessed, days of overwhelming thoughts and even a little stress. I feel that I need your touch, reminds me that I miss you oh so very much. The guidance from you I wear around my neck, my amazing sterling cross reminds me that you're there, showing me that you truly care. The feeling you've given me, showing me I can move on, all I got to do is hope and think about our strong bond. Forever and always, you'll live within me, always proud to be who I am and where I stand. You taught me to love, you taught me to care. All those times feeling sorry for myself, but I just got to believe that you will forever be there. Identity Poem, a poetic memoir written back in 12, 15, 2011, in memory of you on your Memorial Day. Identity Poem, a Poetic Memoir by Win Win. I am a Vietnamese American girl born in Saigon, Vietnam. When I was young at the age of three, leukemia took my mother away from me. When I woke up, I had no clue. I wondered what went wrong. A tragic thing took her life away and that was my last goodbye. I never got to see her again. A month later, following her rest, my dad and I moved to the US. It's the only way to escape the dangerous communists. Second lieutenant following the Vietnam War, escaping from camp, not keeping score. Our journey was no real adventure, just he and I. Without my mother, all we could ever do was cry. Four years of struggle, four years of hope. We did not think we could make it through until he decides it is time for him to marry once again. Following the wedding day, she became my stepmom. It was never a pleasant sight. I knew from the beginning, since the age of seven, that she is ugly and wicked like fairy tale stepmothers can be. Like Cinderella looking for Prince Charming, having to clean and scrub. 13 years of torture, 13 years of hate. No one can understand the pain. Her constant screaming and yelling, I have no place to hide. All I can wish for is to have my real mother by my side. No one can replace her, no one can be the one. All I can do is pray, thinking of her as each year goes by. Different days on the lunar calendar, remembering her memorial day. Now it's once again that time of year. I cannot believe it has been 29 years. 29 years of loss, 29 years of tears. All this time praying, crying, and wishing you were here. As time goes by, dad is the only one I have left. Since a part of me passed away, life has not been the same. Dad and I were the only ones coming to the US. Real relatives, aunts, uncles, and cousins all decided to stay. They all knew they can make a living that way. My real grandparents are gone, all living in heaven, side by side along with my mother, all watching down upon me. From mom's side and dad's side, they were taken away, lighting incense sticks for them on their memorial day. Hoping their spirits can enjoy their gifts and the marvelous feast we have awaiting them as the sticks begin to drift. Coming from two different religions, Buddhist and Catholic, I share them both but identify the most with Christ. The cross I wear across my neck represents guidance and luck. It connects with the person giving me life, who was always by my side. Now living in a bigger family filled with all steps, dad is the only blood that I have left. Half brother now is 24 years of age and half sister is soon to be 21. Step aunts and uncles, they sometimes do not care. Step grandparents over here, they just want to be pleased. No one seems to treat me well, you see. Always having to respect your elders, finish your rice, get an education, and always think twice. 
Families here are so traditional, locking me in and not letting me be original. Joining in more newcomers from Vietnam, new step aunts and uncles, even step cousins too. All these people, I do not have a clue. I do not know who they are or where they come from. All I want is you, my only mother. My father is the only one I have left in the U.S. And of course, your spirit will forever live within. As always, your love so pure and true to me. If you have YouTube, do me a favor and like and subscribe down below and enjoy your day, okay?